bring in a thousand of these medial pivot knees, what I'll tell you excites me most is the clinical outcome. Patients do phenomenally well. The fact is that the runway for success with this knee is bar none better than any other knee I've ever used, including strikers, zimmers, and depews. What excites me is that these patients do so well and you can see the difference so early. What excites me is that you don't have to get that knee in balanced 100% perfectly every single time or the patient will notice the difference. What excites me is how the patient can come into the office in four weeks and they behave like other knees at three months and six months. That's what excites me about this medial pivot knee. They have better proprioception, and I believe that has to do with the conformity on the medial side. And because of that, they have better quadricep function, better function with normal activities of daily living, and ultimately, they're just happier patients. You know, the functional outcomes have, have certainly been superior, and they've been superior earlier. Uh, when I see them at six or eight weeks in follow-up, uh, they're just at, at a different stage of recovery than uh, I was seeing when I used the next gen. Uh, in particular, uh, their gait is more normal, they're having less trouble with stair climbing, and the medial-sided pain that I saw a lot in next-gen knees uh, it doesn't exist uh, with the evolution. I think the medial pivot knee itself is well designed with the fixed uh, medial side and 15 degrees of rotation on the lateral side. It allows it to function more like a normal knee than any other prosthesis that I've used. It also allows for a greater de degree of flexion. But when I combine that with the prophecy and being able to put it in uh, as, as accurately as I've ever been able to put it in, patients are doing great. The return of range of motion is much faster. They get much better motion. They get it quicker. They're out of the hospital sooner. Their pain is better. Um, and they seem to get back to the activities that they want to do at a much quicker rate. I don't use it in every single patient. I think there are certain limitations to it, but 95% of the patients that I see here in my population, it's definitely the knee that I go to for that increased stability and improved kinematics. The most important benefit from the patient's perspective is that they gain full strength of the leg. That can take almost up to two years. But more importantly, that strength correlates to function. If we have a patient that's having pain with simply going down the stairs, expecting that to get better with physical therapy is not gonna happen. What we see is that if you continue to pursue stability during surgery, the patient will continue to develop their muscles up to two years. We see the lower leg developing first, then we see the quadriceps developing, then we see the hamstrings developing, and finally the buttock. The whole leg starts to grow, and that can take up to a year in a motivated patient and up to two years in a slow-going, non-compliant patient. But the important point is it's gonna happen in both. When we get the stability, the muscles are going to grow to the point that patients say, my operated leg is stronger than my unoperated leg. I would say the top three benefits are, of the medial pivot knee are number one by far to me is the consistent combination of great motion and great stability. And that I would almost call those number one, two, and three because it doesn't matter how easy the surgery is for me or it doesn't matter what it takes for me to get the surgery right. It's very simple and reproducible for me to get that surgery right and to get that great combination of motion and stability. But at the end of the day, it's really what the patient feels. And, and to me, there are relatively remarkable differences between how patients feel with a medial pivot knee and the other designs that I've tried.